Chinchillas are small animals from the order of rodents native to South America. Their habitat is the highlands of the South American Andes. Currently, there are very few chinchillas left in the wild. These animals were hunted for fur, as a result of which the species is on the verge of extinction. Since the middle of the last century, chinchillas have been bred by amateurs like pets. Chinchilla was first described by the English zoologist Edward Bennett in 1829. Description. Until now, scientists are racking their brains over which animal is the ancestor of the chinchilla. As a result of archaeological finds in the Cordillera, scientists were able to get acquainted with prehistoric fossils, which in appearance resemble a chinchilla, while the size of the prehistoric animal was much larger. Scientists have determined that the remains of this animal are at least 40,000 years old, so it can be assumed that the chinchilla is a very ancient animal. It should also be recalled that the ancient Incas depicted these animals on the rocks, since such images have survived to our time. The Incas used the soft skins of these animals to sew various items of clothing, although the Incas are not considered the first to be interested in the fur of these rodents. It is believed that the Chincha Indians are the pioneers in this matter. Experts also suggest that the name Chinchilla appeared due to this tribe, since the name of the tribe and the animal sounds almost the same. The Incas highly appreciated the fur of this animal, so they constantly monitored its production so as not to harm the total number of these animals. Unfortunately, at the end of the 15th century, when the Spaniards appeared on the mainland, the total number of these valuable animals began to decline sharply due to the ruthless hunt for these rodents. As a result, countries such as Chile, Bolivia, and Argentina have banned the hunting of chinchillas and their export at the level of law. There are severe penalties for illegal hunting. Chinchilla is a rodent of the same name of the chinchilla family. In nature, there are two types of such animals. Short-tailed, coastal, chinchilla. Long-tailed, mountain, chinchilla. Mountain chinchillas prefer to live in mountainous areas at heights of more than 2,000 meters above sea level. This animal is distinguished by its large size, as well as a thicker wool cover. In addition, these animals have a hump nose, which allows the animal to breathe cold mountain air without any problems. Coastal chinchillas are somewhat smaller in size, while their tail and ears are slightly longer than their mountain relatives. Currently, experts believe that the mountain species of chinchillas has disappeared completely, although local residents of some mountainous regions of Chile and Argentina claim the opposite. An interesting moment. The first chinchilla farm was organized by the American Machos Chapman. He is considered the first person to bring these animals to the United States. He began raising chinchillas on a farm to supply customers with valuable fur for some valuable garments. After him, many began to practice breeding these animals on their farms. Appearance. Long-tailed chinchillas grow in length no more than up to 0.4 meters, with a tail length of no more than 0.2 meters. The ears are long, reaching 6 cm in height, rounded in shape. In comparison with the body, the head is considered large, while the muzzle is rounded. The eyes are relatively large, but pretty, with vertical pupils. Whiskers, the brissy, reach a length of about 10 cm. With the help of these organs, the animals easily orient themselves in the dark. Adults weigh no more than 1 kg, while males are somewhat smaller than females. The fur of the animals is very fluffy, soft, and pleasant to the touch. The exception is the tail, which is covered with stiff bristles. The main color is gray-blue, ash, while the belly area is painted in light milky shades. Although there are individuals of a different color, this is rather an exception to the rule. A chinchilla has 20 teeth in its mouth, 16 of which are indigenous and grow throughout life. Chinchillas, in comparison with other rodent species, are considered centenarians since they can live for almost two decades. The chinchilla has small limbs, while the front ones are armed with five fingers and the hind ones four. With the help of longer hind limbs, the animals make long jumps. Thanks to the well-developed cerebellum, the animals simply have unique coordination, which allows them to conquer mountain territories without any problems. This rodent is interesting in that its skeleton tends to shrink in certain, especially threatening situations. In case of any threat, this animal easily penetrates into the smallest crevice. Another unique feature of the chinchilla is the fact that the animal practically does not sweat since it does not have sweat glands. This means that there is no smell coming from this animal. Where they live. The only habitat in our time is associated with South America, or rather, with the mountains of the Cordilleras and the Andes. Animals are found in Argentina and Venezuela. The chinchilla element is the highlands of the Andes, at altitudes up to 3 kilometers. These small animals easily withstand the harsh Spartan conditions when cold winds blow throughout the year. In summer, the ambient temperature does not exceed plus 23 degrees, and in winter, frosts crackle down to minus 35 degrees. 
In such conditions, precipitation is practically not observed, therefore chinchillas do not like water procedures. They clean their wool by bathing in the sand. Chinchilla coat is weakly resistant to moisture. Chinchilla nests can be found in various crevices, among stone piles, and small caves. Often, the animals themselves dig holes to form a shelter for themselves, hiding in it from various enemies. Much more often they use burrows of other animals as their shelters. To see firsthand a chinchilla living in natural conditions, you will have to visit Chile. In other places, and in the territories of other countries, the animal is so small in number that it is almost impossible to meet it in nature. Even in Chile, the populations of these animals are under threat. What they eat. The basis of the chinchilla's diet is plant food, which is not very diverse in mountainous terrain. Various herbs. Small shrubs. Cacti. Mosses and lichens. Animals replenish their body moisture through dew and cacti, which are characterized by a high moisture content. These animals feed on the bark and roots of various plants, as well as their fruits. Their diet also includes various insects. When kept in captivity, the diet of these animals is much more varied, since the owners of these animals purchase special feed. As food, the animal can be given fresh grass, as well as various vegetables, berries and fruits. They will happily gnaw on a crust of bread, dried fruits and nuts. These rodents eat hay in large volumes. You can safely feed chinchillas what hares or guinea pigs eat. Living in natural conditions, these animals do not feel problems with a digestive system, despite the fact that the animals mainly feed on green vegetation. This is due to the fact that many plants contain tannins that help the animals with a digestive system. Chinchilla rats live next to chinchillas, which stock up on feed for future use. Chinchillas often use these reserves, leaving their neighbors without food. Behavior and lifestyle. Since there are very few of these animals left in natural conditions, very little is known about their life. In this regard, all observations were carried out in conditions of their detention and captivity. It was possible to establish that chinchillas prefer to lead a collective lifestyle. Each flock may contain from five pairs of animals and more. Group activity allows the animals to better resist external negative influences. Each flock has an individual that monitors the living space while the rest of the family feeds. In case of any threat, this animal gives a signal in the form of a whistle, and the animals immediately hide in their shelters. These rodents prefer to lead a twilight lifestyle, since they can see perfectly, both day and night. In the daytime, the chinchilla tries not to leave its hiding places. With the help of long whiskers, animals perfectly navigate in the dark and also easily find food for themselves. Big ears also help the animal, since fine hearing allows you to react to any sounds in advance. The well-developed vestibular apparatus allows the animal to easily and quickly overcome any obstacles, which is very important in the mountains. An important point. As a rule, the head of the chinchilla family is the female. In addition, she is large compared to the male. In those natural places where such animals live, it practically does not rain. To cleanse their fur of various parasites or odors, animals have to bathe in volcanic sand. The peculiarity of these living creatures also lies in the fact that in case of danger, the chinchilla easily gets rid of its fur. When a predator manages to grab the animal's fur with its teeth, a piece of it remains in the predator's teeth, and the chinchilla, meanwhile, finds itself in its shelter. The behavior of these pets does not contain aggression towards humans. Moreover, the animals are affectionate and good-natured. These animals are easy to tame, so they quickly get used to going to the tray. Despite this, the chinchilla has a very freedom-loving and independent disposition, so it is unlikely that it will be possible to force the animal to do what it does not like. They are capable of being stubborn, but only bite on rare occasions. It should be noted that each animal